Hello friends, welcome to another video. This video is going to be a reading vlog. I'm only going to read one book in this because it needs to be the main focus because I've heard really great things about it. And if you've watched my other videos, you probably know what it is, but it is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. This is a fantasy book and I have heard really great things about it and I like the author's other work, like I read the Shades of Magic series by this author so I'm excited to read something else by her because I haven't read anything by her in a long time. So I just wanted to intro this video and I'm just excited to get into it. I have about two hours to just like bust out some reading. It's also it's Sunday and it's 2.30 in the afternoon so I have maybe an hour or two to get some reading in. And I've got my copy and I am just excited because I've heard the most amazing things about this, but no need to put it off any longer. Let's just get into the vlog. about this book is that the words are very small also I, this is just like a remembrance like for forward thing but there's like a blue stain here for some reason but I can still read through it so it's not too big of a deal and it's not on like the actual like paper so I'm just going to be okay with it <laughs> just noticed the front of this that is very pretty and then the back says I remember you I'm still reading the forward I guess and I just want to read this little paragraph here because I think it's like a really great message. It says something happened when I turned 30. I realized with a grim certainty that I would die without writing this novel. That in the pursuit of making it perfect I would make nothing and the sadness I felt at the idea was enough to shake me from my fear. After all there is no such thing as perfect only the effort the honesty. And I just thought that it was like it, just a great message because it's very true like nothing will be perfect but it's important to still try anyway so yeah i have read a little over 40 pages now and i am really enjoying it so far it's like exactly how i expected full of just like small moments and details and just like things like that which i love in a book so I am definitely enjoying it so far. It, we're kind of getting a little bit of Addie's history, how she grew up, and then there, it's also interspersed with some moments from the present. And like in the present, she's in New York City. And then in when we're in her past, she lives in France. We kind of get that little separation there of life in France and life in New York City. And we're also, getting to see like the fact that no one remembers her because of the curse that she is under and so right now it's just like figuring out all the little things and then I think obviously eventually we'll figure out when the curse happens and like obviously it'll pick up but right now I am enjoying it as it is and I'm excited to just keep reading. 
Hello friends, it's Tuesday now and I got home from work and we had dinner and now I think I am going to read. I'm not super far in, I don't know if you can see that, but I am only that far in and so that's why I haven't, I didn't update yesterday. I think I only read like 15 to 20 pages yesterday. So I'm hoping to get some more in tonight and so far I'm really enjoying it. I got to the part where the how she got cursed is revealed and yeah, like I said, I'm just enjoying it. I'm just uh, enjoying like seeing her adventures, how she got to where she is now. And yeah, I'm just excited to read more and figure out more that happens to her. It's the next day now and I wanted to just talk about my thoughts so far because I got quite a bit farther than I was before and I just wanted to talk about just my thoughts and how I feel about it and also I'm in here because it is just a change of scenery because I feel like I've been in the same spot for like all the clips so nice little change of scenery here but yeah like I said in the past couple clips I'm enjoying it but I also see why people wouldn't really like it because it's just a very slow very character driven book and i think that if you go into it expecting something super fast paced like that's not what you're gonna get it's like a lot of scenery description and description of her life and just the things she's been through and another thing that's going on is that she's like working through the details of the curse, like what can she do, what can't she do, like what things affect her, what things don't affect her, and yeah, it's kind of just like that type of vibe. It's like description, figuring things out, like really figuring herself out, figuring out like just how to live in this world where no one remembers her. So yeah, that is kind of my thoughts so far. I was introduced to Henry and that is great. It's just really interesting with him and then also just seeing how Addie has learned to live and how it goes back and forth in the timeline. And so it's interesting to see how she was when she first got cursed and then how she is now that she's been cursed for 200, 300-ish years, I guess. So that's an interesting aspect of it. And something else that I am enjoying is the different places. I mean, right now it's just been Paris and New York, but I am still enjoying it. I like the descriptions of those places. And since when she got cursed, it was like in the 1700s. It's interesting that to read about like Paris back then, I guess. So that's another thing I'm liking. And that's pretty much it. I am just excited to get through it. And another thing about it is like, it's just like a very slow read like you want to like really absorb the writing just because of how descriptive it is and how much you want to like really imagine where it is because that's like the whole point of the book is like imagining what she's going through and like where she is and all that type of stuff so that's another thing i'm kind of reading it a little slower i guess but that's fine with me but yeah so far i'm enjoying it i'm excited to read more and this is off topic, but I also wanted to talk about my Marvel journey. If you didn't know, I started watching all the Marvel movies with my husband and I am really enjoying them so far. We're watching them in timeline order and right now we are on uh, Thor, The Dark World. We watched maybe half of it last night. That's another reason why I've been reading it slower is because I'm also trying to fit in these movies. So yeah, I'm enjoying it. I It's really interesting watching them in timeline order because I had watched various of them throughout time, just not even in any order, just randomly, uh, probably as they came out. And so it's really interesting to see how the timeline all comes together and then seeing it all play out. It's just super interesting. Highly recommend watching those if you haven't already. And yeah, that's gonna be it. I'm just excited to continue watching the Marvel movies and to continue The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. And yeah, I'll check back in later. Good evening, friends. It is still Wednesday and I am just going to get ready to read and I am going to make a cup of tea. Our water is super hard at our house, so we have this water distiller. So I am going to use that and put it in the, our electric kettle.
I've got my tea, I've got my candle on, I put my ambiance room on, so now I am all ready to cozy up and get some reading done. This is the winter wake-up tea. I just decided to do the wake-up tea even though it's the evening now, but it's still delicious and I am excited to get some reading in. The story has really picked up, I think. Like, not like a lot, a lot, but I feel like I'm fully invested now. We've met like the main characters. I'm sure there will be more, but I met the character, like I said earlier, Henry, and he's playing a bigger role now that I've gotten a little farther in the book. So I am just excited to see what happens. Hello friends, I am 75% of the way into the book now. I only have a quarter left to go, so that is good. I am enjoying it. I'm just really enjoying the characters, like I've said, especially Addie. And I also like that we got more background into Henry's story and we figured out why he is the way he is and why he can remember Addie. Like I've said before, I'm just liking all the different places Addie's went. And I am just very excited to see what happens in these last couple pages because it's like building up to a point and I am just excited to see what ends up happening. So with that said, I'm going to try to finish this tonight, but we'll see. If I get too tired, I probably won't, but I think I should be able to, especially if I focus. So I am going to get to reading. the part where it is Addie's 300th birthday since she like got the curse and it's just like very much an atmosphere of tension and I am just excited to see what happens. So I finished and first of all I have to say wow it was completely amazing it was like everything I expected and more like going into it I didn't really know what to expect and it just fulfilled all my expectations and like I I wasn't disappointed at all like a lot of people say this is one of their favorite books and I can definitely see why and it's definitely up there in my favorite books like this is just like a fresh and unique idea and it's something like I haven't seen done before and like if it's ever replicated it won't be the same so yeah that are kind of my initial thoughts upon finishing this and just some other thoughts I have are just that the game is slow and I was like kind of questioning is like I don't mind slowness but it was just slow and obviously it took me a minute to get attached to the characters but once I did I was hooked I'd say after page 100 I was pretty much like hooked and wanted to keep reading and reading and the writing was beautiful everything about it was beautiful the relationships just like just her whole story her relationship with Henry I also thought it was very interesting to read about her relationship with Luke and that was just an interesting aspect that I wasn't expecting at all like I thought the main relationship I guess was going to be between her and Henry because he's the one who can't remember her but her relationship with Luke was also incredibly interesting and that part also 
kept me invested and hooked but those are some of my other thoughts i was also going to say like the last two parts like there's there's seven parts in the book in the last two i just couldn't stop turning the pages like it was just so good amazing and i just really enjoyed addy's story i really enjoyed just reading about her life and the 300 years she has lived so far and this book would be like an incredible movie like i don't know if there's any production in the work of this becoming a movie but it would be an amazing movie or tv show but yeah i think that's kind of all my thoughts for now this is a definite five stars a new favorite for sure and honestly it just makes me want to pick up more of the e. schwab's work because just the writing is was incredibly beautiful and captivating and fun and she just she just has a way with writing that just gets you at least in my opinion so yeah i think that's it i think i've said everything i wanted to say in this video hopefully it wasn't too repetitive and hopefully it wasn't boring it's always hard to decide what to say in vlogs especially if they're spoiler free which this one is so hopefully it was interesting and you guys enjoyed reading along with me and hopefully if you want to read this you can come back to this video and watch it but yeah i hope you all enjoyed the video if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you want to see more from me subscribe and i will see you all with another video soon